Language and reality, the magic of theater, power and exploitation, revenge, forgiveness and restoration, and utopia and idealism. These are the all-encompassing themes of William Shakespeare's The Tempest. In The Tempest, language is power, and characters wield it to bless, curse, confuse, manipulate, or heal. Prospero is the most powerful character because of his studies in magic and advanced skill in manipulating Ariel, a representation of Prospero's thoughts. Noble characters bless and curse in their ordinary language, and alliances are created between those who share the same language. For example, Ferdinand and Miranda's love bond begins with the recognition that Miranda speaks the same language as he does, and Caliban's shared language with Stefano and Trinculo gives him the power to entice them to overthrow Prospero and empathize with him. The magic of theater speaks to the nature of magic and its ability to change reality in unexpected and inexplicable ways. The obvious magic in the play comes from Prospero and his ability to manipulate the island's spirit and nature. But many scholars believe that the theme of magic represents the power of the playwright to create something out of nothing. As a magician, Prospero controls and manipulates circumstances and people, and Shakespeare as a playwright does the same, eventually bringing restoration and order. The play explores the role of power and exploitation over people in families and in the social order. In nearly every scene, Shakespeare reveals a situation in which power and its exploitation creates a lack of harmony, from the opening scene, when the nobles on the ship interfere with the work of the sailors, to Antonio becoming power-hungry and driving Prospero into exile, to Prospero becoming master of Caliban and Ariel, despite Caliban's claim to the island. It is not until Prospero willingly gives up his magical power and his need for revenge that the spell is broken and there is any hope of peace in the social order. Revenge, forgiveness, and restoration is a major theme. While the driving energy of the play comes from the individual's desire for revenge, the only way to destroy the power of revenge is to absorb it rather than unleash it, which is what Prospero does at the end of the play, willingly surrendering both his power and his need for revenge. Almost all of the major characters except Antonio and Sebastian show remorse over some aspect of the past, ultimately asking for forgiveness. Prospero admits he was a bad duke. Caliban regrets serving a new master, and Stefano admits he would rather be a bad ruler even if he only had one subject. Alonso apologizes and asks for Prospero's pardon. Through forgiveness, freedom is restored to those washed up on the island, even as Prospero's position in Milan is restored. Gonzalo's ideal Commonwealth speech presents the political ideas of utopia and idealism in the play. But Prospero is the Tempest's true idealist. He believes in divine providence and heavenly music, the power of nature, virtue, and the pursuit of knowledge. These beliefs seem quite idealistic as compared to the forces driving his brother Antonio. Prospero's idealism is consistent throughout the play. Those who seek disharmony and discord lose to the idealistic characters seeking harmony and balance.